National Archives. That's what I was trying to say. The pictures from nationalarchives.com. Uh, oh, jeez. I forgot what the link is. And there's some nice pictures. In fact, I even got one picture of some Native American women and a baby. And they're watching a baby <clears throat> run off and they're laughing. And this is like from the 1800s. It's a beautiful picture, I think. Um, I think I might... I might widen that, but I'm not sure for right now. Center line back in. Let's get the smile or the smile. <laughs> Let's get the grin going here. Now the grin does sort of start with a, a little smile like that. And it's going to come and it's going to come down like this. like that. Now you can have him not grinning so much but sort of a straight straight I don't want to be grinning too much. Take a knife I'm going to cut in an angle like this. Can you see my hand is in the way? get my fingers out of the way just in case of the slip. Now whenever, whenever you do a stop cut I always say you you always cut down and not across. So in other words you're rotating your carving because what happens if you're cutting down like this and you go across and the thing I tell people as you come back is that you you, you cut your knife hand is is natural. You just keep it natural and you move the wood to the knife hand. See, so I want to cut do I go this way or you know it's it's like uh like your wood on the bandsaw. You mean you move the wood to fit the cut. Okay, now take a look at the um, profile. He looks like he's kind of pouting. We don't want him to pout too much. The under, the bottom lip and chin are actually in from the upper lip. See, I'm rotating. That's what you should do. That's if if you don't if you have if you if you're very uncomfortable with it is uh, practice with a square piece of wood and make it into a round piece of wood is by moving the wood the knife is just going like this it's just moving I'm really I'm move I'm just cutting I'm not really moving the knife and you just rotate oh, looks like I got some got chipped out of there well we're gonna have to fix that yeah oops. But let's see, we can fix it. Yeah. And when it comes to the cleanup, what I always say, leave it to the maid. Okay, I'm going to start in with the chin a little bit here. Now you can use, uh, well, you probably could use a V tool. I really don't. Now what's going to happen with the with the bottom lip? You might need later on. We'll get into the uh, chisels, but I just want to get kind of started here. Is we want to cut here like this? And oh yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of adjusting. What we're doing right now is we are basically kind of setting things in. And I'm still thinking about making things bigger. All right, we're going to stop right there. Now I want to round this out a little more. Again, being careful where this. Maybe we can maybe we can set that in. Let's set that in. Let's just round this and clean this a little more. And I think I'm going to use it, the chisel to do that. But I just want to. Like I said, 
find out where things are with the knife here. I'm in the way there, so I don't slip. Okay, where is that? Because the eye, you know, I think I want to make sure the eye socket is. I'm happy with the eye socket before I can really get to the cheekbone. Where's the chisel? Here it is. Now we're going to start cutting this in here, get the, get the cheek in there. this sunken a little bit. I actually want it sunken a lot a bit. And he's gonna have sort of an angryish look. I've got to bring this side up a little bit. Sort to come down. Same on this side. Now the next thing I want to do, the mistake I have in that other piece, is I got too much of the forehead. I want to bring the forehead in a little, a little bit. I mean, we, we still want to have a, a lot of um, eyebrow bone in there, but I don't want it to be imperfect either. I don't want it to be not right. Alright, things are getting started, getting going there. A little hacky. Oops, wrong way. I want to clean this up a little bit because I want to put the eye line in. Hmm. I think I made it worse. That was good. It was good. I want to make one more swipe and then I just made it worse. Don't you just hate that? Let's get some better light or bring it up, one of the two. Okay, where's our eye line here? I want to use this pencil to thin it out a little more. That's not right. Down a little bit. There, a little better. Now the cheek is going to be right about cheekbone, so it's going to kind of come down in little, a little bit here. So this is where I want to have the cheekbone, is right here to come up the most.
And after looking that, looking at that, I really think I am going to have to end up making the mouth a little wider. I really do. Yeah, because there's still going to be a lot more, a lot more going on yet. Just a little, just another. What would that be about? Not even a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. thing about dry wood it's a little more brittle and I think I already kind of goofed things up a little bit like I said I don't want him to be too grainy okay I want to start in on the upper lip a little bit and what we're going to do is this has to be a swoop in the nose. So what I like to do with a lot of my carvings is just go to one spot, kind of get a handle of it, go to another spot, get a handle of it. I think we're going to go a lot deeper. We may not go as wide, we may not go wider, but we will go a little deeper to round that off. And the chin is going to have to be shaped a little a lot better. Same on this side here is a scoop. Let's so hope we can take some of that cut off there. And there's still going to be a lot of shaping to do. We're just barely getting started here. I'm going to round this, just take a little more off here and round it. As soon as I round this, I'm going to see about getting some um, husks in. And see if it's feasible. I mean, you can probably put some husk in, in other words, carve it out. Carve out some husks in a separate piece of wood and bring it out but so how can we do this we can husk because I still want to have a lot of corn showing because we're gonna we're gonna color the corn and I'm just like I said I'm just penciling in nothing's made in stone and now this I could probably, if this comes around, then I can do something like this. And I think when I paint this, of course this will be painted either sort of a, a straw yellow, maybe put a little bit of green in it. Or what you could do, since we have an extra some extra wood here, is if you can come up I'm going to experiment on that. Like I said, I like to experiment. This will be flat. And it's going to come like this. Except would that look like he has a beard? Mm, that's probably not a good idea. 